Hi everyone, we're going to carry on now doing our garter stitch. So um, I've already started on this row, so we're just going to continue just knitting like what we were doing before all the way across to the end. Now I haven't done all my the 45 stitches across. I had con I've continued on up to carry on so I can get up to the crown part just to show you. So now that's your right side as we discussed before, the flat side, and now that's what your first two rows should look like. All right, so from now on, we are going to continue doing that. Um, just knit across and knit back. So that is now called garter stitch, which I showed you before. This is garter stitch. Just make sure that you remember to measure from the top of your needle to the edge of your knitting, the cast on. So remember the top of your needle to the edge of your cast on. That is how you take your measurement. Rightio, not from down here, not from under the needle, it's from the top of the needle. Now the other is if you're finding when you get to 16 centimeters and it looks like it's going to be too small, just remembering if you've got a wide head, it's going to go this way. So it's going to shorten this down. So if you've just got a narrow head, that will be fine. But if it's a wider head, see what's going to happen? So just put on a couple more rows and then, we, then we'll continue up with the um, decreasing. All right, so just carry on up and um, then we'll get you going with the decreasing. All right, so enjoy and just remember to keep going each side, making sure that each of those first two stitches at the beginning of the row, you don't need to pull on that one, but on this one, you pull just a little bit firmer. All right, so we just get a nice edge on our knitting. Right here, so it's not going to poke out. It's gonna keep nice and straight like that, okay? Well, have fun and I will see you back shortly.